Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, June 1st, and um, June's the rainy month, so I hope it rains a lot, because um, it'll cool down Florida if it's hot. But um, just studying, doing history, watching TV, um, didn't mute it, so you can probably hear it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much going to be my whole entire day. So, sorry if it's kind of boring, not really my fault. <laughs> running towards me. Hi there. They don't bite you. Yeah, I know. They just like to hang out and eat holes in your, garden. And eat holes in your grass and garden. Well, come over here. There's two more. Well, that one's running away. What are they doing? They're rooting in the garden looking for bugs. Oh my god. That's my toe. Should I move? No, just take a picture. No, I'm recording it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was a toe. I don't think I like that. <laughs> it just touched me. <laughs> and that one's over there digging a hole with its oh face. Oh my god. I've, I've never been um, this close to, came back. to an armadillo. That one come back or that one come from somewhere else? No, that there's one under the shed. Oh, that one came from under the shed. Are you sure? Yeah, that's the one that ran that way when I walked over. Please help me, Lord. Can't okay. believe it. It touched my toe. <laughs> did you get it? Did you record it touching your toe? Yeah. What are you guys looking for? They're looking for food. They never, I didn't think they'd come out in the daytime. I didn't either. I mean, you could go over there and touch them. Watch. Mom, don't touch it. Why are you gonna? Of course you do. Look, you scared it away. It feels like a, just like it looks all rough and bumpy. I'm sure it does. Hey guys. So, um, you enjoy my armadillos? Anyways, so I'm on my way to Walmart to um, get some foundation and just like the essentials. I need more mascara and I need um, a new brow pencil. So, and I'm going to try out a new foundation. I was doing some research and hopefully I can find it. It's um, a Rimmel foundation. So hopefully they have it at Walmart and if not, I'm going on an adventure. So, random question. Have you ever guys like not driven for like... A week almost and then it feels really weird to drive that's how I feel right now I feel like something's like wrong but I know that there's nothing wrong with my car my tires might be a little bit low but um, that is pretty much it because my tires leak air um, so they feel weird I don't know if it's just me or if it's like windy and I can't tell or anything like that. I don't know. It just feels weird because I haven't driven since last Thursday and it's Wednesday of the following week and this bus is going to stop in front of me. So yeah. Scorpion. Good evening everyone. So um, I know you're loving, loving the hair. Yes, it's beautiful. Um, I'm trying out, uh, these rollers because we've had them, they're actually mine from a long time ago, and, um, I don't remember how well they worked, so I'm trying them out, see if I like them, so I have, you know, smaller ones in the bottom, bigger ones in the top, blah, blah, did it all myself with no help from anybody else, and it actually turned out pretty well. And this, this is my, uh, makeshift bangs because I, I didn't want to crawl my bangs because they're weird and I have like little short pieces so um they're being pinned up so I'll straighten them tomorrow and hopefully my hair will look good that's what that's what I'm hoping and um I know it looks like I'm wearing the same shirt but I'm really not I just have a bunch of shirts like this and I realized um today I was like wow it looks like I've been wearing the same shirt for like three days but no, I actually have a bunch of these shirts and so you don't think I'm like not hygienic. Um, the other one I think had buttons down the down the little front, but you can't really see it because it's black and it doesn't really show up anyways. But um, yes, yeah, so you guys will get to see how my wonderful hair turns out tomorrow. And I have a history test tomorrow. Woo! This is my study guide that I did. And how many pages? One... I think this one's five. Yeah, it's like five pages. And I swear if I freaking get another C, I'm gonna die. Well, not die, but I'm gonna be not happy. 
and I need, I guess I probably should do the extra credit for it, but I have to go to a, oh, excuse me, I have to go to a history museum and um, find something that pertains to the era that we're studying and then I have to write a 500 word essay explaining why I picked chose it and why I like it and all that good stuff. And um, definitely if I go to the history museum, upon which I will totally drag someone in my family to, um, definitely hopefully they have something from World War II. Um, because I thought that that's kind of like my favorite war to study just because it's like it's very intense and um it's just, it's an interesting thing to me but uh yeah right now i'm actually this is this chapter is the end it's like the the years before um it's like let's see 1876 to the end of world war one I believe. Yeah, World War One was. I'm not gonna look stupid here. I should probably know the answer to this. It's not. A, it's actually not even a question. Uh, oh yeah, 1914. That's what I was gonna say. 1914 to 1918, and. The, I studied like a, and the last question on there is about 1920, uh, so, and actually in my book, it was really cool because it talked about, uh, the flappers and women and like, which was interesting to me that my teacher didn't ask any questions about, uh, the era, but he asked like the questions on the study guide, I think. Sometimes I think my teacher has like lost his mind because he gives us um, this review and it's 50 questions and when you take the test, the test is like the same questions but rephrased to make you have no idea what it's talking about. So like on the last test I got 14 questions wrong and I got 72 and I was like I don't understand like some of the questions I had no idea what he was talking about. And, like, I know when I took his, um, Discovery to Reconstruction History class in the spring semester, the first test that I took, I got an 82, which was awesome, because I actually understood, and he didn't have any, like, ambiguous questions on there. But, like, all the questions on his test now are, like, really weird, and they have, like, nothing to do with what the study guide is about. So, I don't know. I get confused and then I'm like, okay, whatever, man. So, hmm. By the way, I figured out where the shadows are from. So, as you guys know, I have this giant mirror behind me. Um, which I think I've showed you guys before. But I figured out how I have all these strange um, square shadows. And it's from me putting sticky notes up. That's my giant mirror. So yeah, it's, that, that's what it's from. My, uh, important sticky notes. Even though I have, like, a sticky notes app, which I have, like, I have ten sticky notes on my computer, um, half of which are bands, uh, makeup ideas, TV shows that I watch reminding me when they come on, um, books that I'm waiting to come out, and my history exam schedule and the history chapters that I have to study. So yeah, that's that's exciting. And what's actually pretty cool is my history class ends in three weeks. Fantastic. I remember in spring I was like, wow, I need to stop rambling. I remember in spring that um, I could not wait for it to end, which I'm sure you guys saw. I was so like strung out on school. So 
yeah, so I'm going to shut up now because I've definitely been talking for like almost seven minutes and I didn't realize it because I have a bunch of things to talk about, but um, that's pretty much everything. Uh, tomorrow I have to go, I think I'm going shopping, grocery shopping, and then I'm maybe, I think tomorrow because I, I'm going to have my hair done. If, I ha if it turns out really nice, I will actually do Friday's makeup tutorial tomorrow. And then I can just upload it on Friday and I can just sleep in on Friday. Um, as well as... What else was I going to say? Oh, and I'm going to take my history test tomorrow. So, that is what I'm doing tomorrow. And that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. And I hope you're having a wonderful night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is... Thursday, June 2nd. Um, I have to study and then I'm going to go take my test and then hopefully I can do a makeup tutorial today because my hair turned out pretty good. So um, I filmed doing my hair so probably going to put it up as a tutorial and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, so I have to study and then I'm going to go take my test. Good evening everyone. So um, I am just kind of hanging out. I'm on Yahoo and Facebook. Gosh darn it, my battery's gonna die. Hold on, I have to change batteries. Thank goodness for having two batteries. So um, I don't really remember the last thing I recorded. Anyways, I went um, grocery shopping, came home, blah blah blah, and made turkey burgers for dinner. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Watched So You Think You Can Dance, because uh, I am definitely an, an avid watcher of that show. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I did take my test today. I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but I got a 90 on my test, which was fantastic. And um, I'm still definitely going to do the extra credit, because then I can get an extra 10 points. And depending on what I get on my other two tests because he only has four tests and that's your entire grade for the class. Um, that could help me a lot. So uh, I definitely have to go to a museum, history museum somewhere, and I guess I have to look them up online and find like the hours and stuff. Uh, the paper is due June 13th and I have a sticky note telling me that, which is why I was looking up there. But um, yeah, and that is that that is why my phone is going off but um that's that's pretty much it so um yep that's it okay so i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i hope you're having a wonderful night and i will see you guys tomorrow